just looking at the speech of Donald Trump. <laughs> President Donald Trump. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like it's all coming true. <laughs> the, the things we were hearing about the guy. And the way the way he won as well, it's just amazing. It's just like a joke. It's like watching a movie. You know, like you see the bad guy beat up the good guy and you think, ah, how did that happen? <laughs> are we watching a bad movie? <laughs> I mean, are we, are we watching like a, a, a movie that's based upon the evil person winning? Is it going to have a bad ending? The good guy dies? But, um, yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying to say, I'm just trying to say he's a bad guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Uh, but anyway, it looks like a joke. It's, it's like, um, you know, it's like some movie, you know, they played it out just like that. Like, you see behind him while the tr- speech is going and people in other cities are like blowing up cars and there's riots and everything. And it's not even Muslims doing it, or as you guys call it, Muslims. It's it's actually America doing it. And they're saying, how did this guy become the president? It's because, well, you know what? Let me tell you something maybe you don't know about this. Is that the government is corrupt. And it's always been. Uh, see, the thing is, in, in other countries, uh, the corrupt governments are, are outwardly corrupt. But within the Western world, the governments are so corrupt. But they're smart, so they, they hide their corruption. You see, but um, it's blatant. Anyway, a lot of people know that the news and everything is just corrupt. So what do you think? These things are not corrupt? you think the voting is not corrupt? Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Even the when you look at the SNL jokes that were being made, about um Donald Trump, it's like obviously he was gonna lose, so let's just take the mick out of him. But he's the president now. He could just like, you know, annihilate everyone in SNL, especially that guy who played the uh, Donald Trump. In. But you know, obviously it's just a movie, isn't it? Uh, nowadays the news is just like watching a movie. You don't know what's real, what's what's right. It all looks fake. You know, it's all just for entertainment. They they brought him into the election so that it's for entertainment. Now he's gonna obviously everyone's gonna watch this. Everyone's going to want to watch this because obviously it's Donald Trump. Something special might happen. It's not boring anymore. And then the way you see um, Obama, who obviously uh, he hated Obama. And Obama hated him because obviously they, they um, what do you call it? He asked him for his um, his actually passport. And he said that, um, I want to, you know, find out if you're actually an American. And if you look, look now, <laughs> they're in love with each other. You know what I mean? They're shaking hands. They're hugging. Their wives are meeting, by the way. Donald Trump's wife. <laughs> it's all right, you know. It's okay, you know. The guy's what? How old is he? I'm just talking. But see, that's fine, isn't it? I mean, it's all right, isn't it? As long as he's rich and he's white and you know he's got some money, you can have whatever you want, isn't it? As no one's got a problem with that. But if a Muslim, if a Muslim gets married to someone slightly younger, damn it, you know that's the problem, isn't it? But anyone can I say? You see, there's a lot of misconceptions that people have about Islam and Muslims. You see, the thing is, obviously, these guys want to make it look bad. You know, these guys want to make Islam look bad. So obviously, they're going to say a lot of things about Islam because they don't want us to become dominant because we're the most common sense religion there is. And if you don't believe me, and if you want to find out all the misconceptions, all the things that you've always wondered or uh, you've got in your mind, see, as soon as the same Islam and Muslims, you're like, there we go again. And all those things come about, about, I don't know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, marrying someone young or... Or, you know, terrorism or something else will come to your mind and you'll be like, yeah, that's it. I don't need to know about this because he's a Muslim. I don't know about Islam because I've already made my um, judgment. Well, let me just tell you one thing. How can you make your judgment if you haven't read the the Quran properly and the real Quran, not just some um, part portion of it or some wrong website or hate website? I'm saying, have you actually read the actual Quran in English or in your language? This is why I urge you. This is why I made the channel. Too many featured video. Watch it for some of the channel. Download a free copy of the most read book in the world from QuranProject.org. That's Q-U-R-A-N Project.org. Check out the rest of the channel. And give Islam a proper chance. Read that. And see the misconceptions. And I urge you. I urge you. If you want, you can email me. Purpose of life at live.co.uk. Um, but what I'm saying is, I urge you to give it a chance. Read the source. Ask your creator for guidance. It's all a joke, man. The whole world is a joke, and this is what the Quran says. The Quran says that the worldly life is like a play. Everybody's playing out like it's a movie. These guys are like actors. You know what I mean? One thing they're saying now, then they say another thing afterwards. They all it's just a movie. They're just playing characters and they're all puppets. Whether it was Trump before uh before it was Obama, he was a puppet. Now this guy's a puppet. 
they all at the end of the day playing the same game. There's someone who's controlling them. You know, whether you want to call them Illuminati or you want to call them <laughs> the Russians. Right now, they're, they're saying that. So it's all just the distraction, see. And, and the main thing is that you need to come out of that distraction. This life is a distraction. Don't get uh, deceived by the glitter and glamour of this world that these evil people put upon you. Whether it's through music, movies, uh, too much work or slavery of a um, corporation, um, your family or money or... Whatever slavery they've got you into, people are on drugs and sex addicts and whatnot because they've bombarded you with this. You see, uh, people are sex addicts because they make you sex addicts. They make those posters, every advert, everything they're using naked women. And uh, Islam is saying, don't do that. They don't want that because then they'll stop making their money. And they're the ones that are making you drink so much alcohol so that they can make the money. They are the ones that are making you do those, buy those drugs and cigarettes because you're depressed. Allah says that if you turn away from his remembrance, he will give you a depressed life. And only you will get peace and happiness if you turn towards him and you do good things. But if you don't, you're going to get a depressed life. That's why people are committing suicide, having so many problems, stress, depressed, you know, taking... There's more you know, depression pills and sleeping pills taken in the Western world more than any Muslim country. You know, Islam works. Just give it a chance. You know, why is Dubai, for example, just one... Example, I was reading this up online somewhere. Dubai, where Sharia law exists, maybe not to the form it should be, but some form of it exists in Dubai. And Dubai is, they say, is one of the one of the um, facts that it says is one of the lowest crime rates, if any crime at all, lowest crime rate in the entire world, lowest crime rate city in the world, because people just don't want to do a crime because the 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 punishments are so severe. You know, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. Give, you give Islam a chance. It makes sense. At least give it a chance. Check out the rest of the channel. Find out why it is the fastest growing religion in the world. Why the Quran is the most read book in the world. So download a free copy now from quranproject.org. That's Q-U-R-N project.org. Just give your life a chance. Before it's too late. Better safe than sorry. Everyone has to die one day. We don't want to die and find out. Oh my God, the Muslims were correct. Anyway, please do give it a chance. Because I care. Where is he? Where is who?